In this guide I will show you how you can design a book cover like this and add spine text using Microsoft Publisher so you can publish your own book. You can also use the timestamps to navigate this video which can be found in the description below. Keep watching! First open Microsoft Publisher and select Landscape. Next open a web browser and type in Book Cover Template KDP. Select the KDP Amazon link. I'll also put a link to this in the description box below this video. Just a reminder, if you hit the like button, it will save this video to your liked playlist so you can refer to it again. So select the trim size for your book. Mine's five by eight. And then enter your page count. And then we have a choice of paper color. I'm gonna choose cream for mine. Hit the download cover template and it'll download in the bottom left hand corner here. And when it's ready, open the file. It gives you the option of a PDF and a PNG file. I'm going to open the PNG. So here is our template. You'll see that the margin and spine area are clearly defined, as well as the barcode location. Here is the book size in inches and millimetres and the spine width. So I'm going to copy this and put it into my publisher document. I'm going to paste it here and then the next step is to calculate the actual page size for publisher. And to do this, we're going to go over to the setup calculator, which we can download from KDP. I'll put a link in the description below. Again, this will download in the bottom left hand corner and will open as an Excel file. Enable editing and enable content. Enter your book options here, so your paper choice, trim size and number of pages. Click here to check your manuscript settings with no bleed and here with bleed. We will click on the cover link. So you need to leave 0.125 for the bleed and again the same for the trim variance. So the total we need to add for the outside margin is 0.25. So here we've got the safe zone measurement. Then we've got the manuscript's trim size, which is eight inches. And then this one is your cover height, which is the one we're interested in, which is the manuscript size plus your margins, which is 8.25. So the height is quite easy to calculate, whereas the width is a little bit more complicated. So here we've got our safe zone, trim size again, and our actual cover width. So 10.62 is what I need to make a note of. So what we're actually doing is adding the back cover width, which is five inches for my book, plus the spine, plus the front cover width, which is another five inches and then we're adding the margins which is 0.25 so write down the cover height and the cover width ready to change the page setup in your publisher document so now select page design page setup and it's in this area that we're going to change the width and height You'll notice that mine's set up for centimetres, so to change that, we need to close the box, click on File, Options, 
then select advanced and then go down to the section with the measurements and change it to inches and then select OK. Go back into page design, page setup and change the width and height to the ones you've written down. So for mine it's 10.62 for the width and 8.25 for the height and then click OK to apply and now resize your template exactly to the page size ensuring you use the corner handles so you don't stretch the template out of shape now select insert pictures and browse to the folder where you've stored all your images that you'd like to use on your cover if you hold the control key you can select all the images and insert them at once all the images will appear in the scratch area here the scratch area is where we store our images and shapes while we're working on the document start adding your images to the template cover and resize ensuring that they don't overlap the clearly defined margins Resize the images and arrange them how you want on your cover. We can also add a background colour for the full cover. So I'm going to use a shape, so insert shape. I'm using a square. So resize it over the full template, including the margins, to allow for cutting. I'm going to remove the shape outline. So use the no outline and then send backwards and then I'm going to use the shape fill to change it so it's the same color as what's on the image so go to sample fill color click on the picture and it's changed to the same send backwards so I can see the images send backwards again so I can see the template now I'm going to insert a text box on the back cover so I can add the book information. I have this stored in a Word document so I'm going to copy this and paste it in. And then I'm going to send the template backwards so I can see the colour of the cover. I'm going to change the text to white I'm going to resize it so you can increase or decrease it I'm going to increase it so it's a bit bigger please note that hyphenation is probably turned on so we need to switch this off so to do this you need to click on format and then hyphenation on the left side. Take the tick out of this box and then click OK. I'm going to add my logo. You could also add your author picture and biography. Now select the coloured cover area and send backwards so that we can see the template again. Just check that nothing is overlapping the margins. So now we're going to add a book spine to our cover. So click insert, draw text box and then add your book title and author name. We have to remember that book spines are more than a binding strip that holds your pages together. It's not always about judging a book by its cover, because in a bookstore, your book spine might be all that people see. So now we can rotate this round and then add it to the spine area. I've probably done it a little bit too big so we can mess around with that and resize it. 
I'm going to send the template backwards so that I can see the font so I can change the colour so it stands out. You can mess around with this and get it how you like it. You could also use word art. So we'll send the coloured cover back so we can see the template and then just resize it so it fits within those margins on the spine. Play around with the size, play around with the colour and make it stand out. If your book spine is a bit wider you could probably make it a bit more interesting and do some more fun things with that. It'd be a good idea to study other books. So I'm going to remove the shadow from this, Let's zoom in, and I'm going to change the colour, so I'm going to make it a yellowy colour and then I'm going to remove the shape outline just so it stands out a bit more. So there we have it, what do you think? Wow! So now we're going to save it, so click on file, save as then browse to the folder where you want to save it to. So we're going to change the file type now. So where it's got save as type, select it here. KDP except JPEG and they also accept TIFF files when you're uploading your own cover. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. You can also save it as a PDF if you need to. So now we're going to change the resolution. So change it to high quality and click OK and then select save. And here is the finished book cover. Happy days! If this guide was useful don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of more videos like this.